This is my favorite paper to use when I am ready to do print then cut stickers. My favorite cut setting is infusible ink transfer sheet because it helps me get really good cuts. Let's get started with the tutorial and I will give you all of my tips and tricks that I use when I am making print then cut stickers. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am going to give you all of my little tips and tricks that I like to use when I'm making print then cut stickers. Now here in Texas, we are getting ready for back to school and I think it's a good idea to make some stickers to help encourage the students, to encourage the teachers. You can just use them to encourage yourself. I am going to show you how to download a sticker bundle from Creative Fabrica, how to upload the bundle into Cricut Design Space, and how to use my favorite settings to get your stickers printed and cut. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The materials I use for this project include this Ava vinyl sticker paper. Remember to be careful about ordering this from Amazon. You're going to order the one that matches your printer. I'm using a green standard grip mat, my Cricut Explore Air 2, and I'm using two motivational sticker bundles that I am downloading from Creative Fabrica. Okay, so without further ado, let's head on over to the computer and let me show you the two bundles that I'm going to download for this project. I am on the Creative Fabrica website and if I were to just go back by one tab, you can see what the home page looks like. What I want you to know before we get into the tutorial is that Creative Fabrica has an excellent deal on their yearly all access subscription it is four dollars and 99 cents per month and it is billed annually which means you pay one time 59 dollars mine was 59 dollars and 16 cents and i paid that for the full year so i'm not billed every month with creative fabrica okay so let's get into the tutorial i just wanted to make sure that i let you know about that so i'm going to go up here and do a search for motivational stickers and i am going to download two bundles now because the students and the teachers are getting ready to go back to school i think it's a the perfect time to start to look for some stickers that can be used in the classroom for the students, but that can also be used in the classroom for the teachers. Or even if you just want to use them to decorate your cutting machine, I have stickers on my cutting machine that probably can use some updating, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so the first bundle that I am going to download is this one right here. And this one is called Inspirational Dash Motivational Stickers. And this one has 11 PNGs and it shows you what they all look like right here, just right on the first page. But you could also scroll over to the right and see what the options are. Now these stickers right here throw kindness around like confetti. This would be perfect to welcome a new student into the classroom to help them get comfortable. I just see so many options with this bundle right here. So I am definitely going to click download. Okay. And then I am going to go back and I am going to see what other bundle I want to download. Now I am really, really big on self-love. I think it's important for us to love ourselves because you only spend 24 hours with yourself every day. So you don't spend that much time with anyone else. And it is important that you that you love the person that you spend the most time with. OK. This one also has 11 stickers in this bundle. I'm going to click download. OK, so now that I have the two bundles selected, I am going to 
get them downloaded and then I will demonstrate my process for how I organize my stickers. So I'm going to click on the first bundle. I am going to click extract all. I am going to click browse. I am going to go to my Creative Fabrica files. I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it the same name that it was on the Creative Fabrica website. So I clicked new folder. Now I'm going to type self love stickers motivational. I'm just going to call it bundle. Okay. And I'm going to click on that folder. I'm going to make sure it's selected. I'm going to click select folder and then I'm going to click extract. So now when all of those stickers are extracted, I will know exactly which folder they're in. Okay, so now I can close this folder out. I can close this out again. And now I'm going to go to that first bundle that I downloaded. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to click extract all. I'm going to select browse. I'm going to navigate to my creative Fabrica files folder. I'm going to select new folder and I'm going to give this a name. This one is called inspirational motivational stickers. Okay. I'm going to oh wait a minute inspirational okay i'm going to select the folder and then i'm going to extract it all right so now i have 11 stickers there so now i can close all of this out and now i can go into cricut design space i am in cricut design space and i am connected to my cricut explore air 2 the first thing I'm going to do is click upload and I am going to navigate to where I save those two bundles. I'm going to select browse. I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to my creative fabric of files. I'm going to go to that first bundle. It was called inspirational, motivational. Okay, and I can just select the file and drag it over. Okay, and I wish I could continue doing that, but the way Cricut Design Space is set up, you can only add one file at a time. So I'm going to click open, I'm going to click complex, and I am going to get all of those files added. I will speed this part up. Okay, instead of downloading all 22 or uploading all 22 stickers into Cricut Design Space, I just decided to grab eight from one bundle and 10 from the first bundle, and we will work with these. Now, because I could tell that all of these stickers already have a background layer, I really don't have to do anything other than make sure that my stickers will fit onto my eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do, just in case you did not notice that, let me just show you that all of these stickers already have a background layer. I'm just gonna do that by changing the color of my canvas. What I'm gonna do is click right here in this bottom right corner where it says blank canvas, and then I'm gonna go up here to the color, and I'm gonna change the color of the canvas to this light gray, and then I'm going to increase the size of the camp, the view to like 75%, just so you can see that all of these stickers have a white layer behind them already. So I really don't have to do much of anything. Now, what I could do is just resize them because these are pretty big, okay? And I would definitely, I don't think I would want a sticker this big, especially if I'm handing it out to a student. I think right at about three inches is actually big enough. And in some cases, it might be too big, just depending on what is on the sticker. All right, so I'm going to bring my view back down, and I am going to make sure that my page size is set to 
eight and a half by 11. I can do that by clicking right here on these three lines and I can go to settings and I can go to load type and my print then cut page size is eight and a half by 11, which is the letter size, which is perfect. I'm going to click done. All right. And what I'm going to do is I am going to see just about how many stickers I can. Well, first I'm going to resize these just a little bit to bring them down. Now I could resize them one at a time or I can stack all of them on top of one another and resize all of them at one time. All right, let's see what happens once I attach these. So I have everything from my canvas, all of the stickers, and I am going to click attach. All right, and let's see what my message is right here. It says the image is too large for eight and a half by 11. So the maximum size and shape that I could do is 7.67 by 7.26 so what i could do is make a square or a rectangle shape that is about this size or i can just click auto resize and it will resize it for me now i can bring my view up because my those it looks really small but it's actually not that small so let me bring my view up and let's look at this now let's see what size my stickers are. So I would have to detach this to see what size they are. So that's about 1.37. That's not bad. Okay. Now if I wanted to resize this, I could. Let's see. So what I could do is grab a shape. I can grab a square right here and I can make it the same size as this. I can unlock this square and I can make it 7.66 by what size was this one? 7.264. So I can make this by 7.264. And I could change the color of this to white. And then I could move these stickers. Let me make sure this stays in the back. I'm going to click Arrange, Send to Back. And I can start to arrange these stickers so that they fit on here. But I could also make them a little bit bigger. And what I would know is that I can't go any bigger than this little square that I have right here, but I can make my stickers as big as I want as long as none of them are touching. So I can just move them over, make them bigger. I can make them as big as I want as long as they fit in this box. All right, so now I'm finished with this square. I really don't need this anymore. And once I select all of these stickers and I attach them, now I should be able to do a print then cut and not have an error. So I'm going to click attach. And now I don't have an error. I don't need this square anymore. I can save it or I can just turn it off like that. And I am ready to click make it. Okay, so everything fits nicely on one mat. Now what I'm going to do is click continue. I am going to send this to my printer. I am going to be printing from my Canon MX470 series printer. It is not a sublimation printer. I am going to leave the ad bleed on and I'm going to use my system dialog. I'm going to click print and I am going to choose my printer options. I'm going to select that printer. Okay, it is the MX470. I'm going to click Preferences. I am going to choose Other Papers. I'm going to choose Other Photo Paper. The print quality is high. I'm going to click OK. Now I can do a print 
preview right here um, but like just by clicking right here it'll show me what a print preview will look like but I'm pretty certain of what it's going to look like everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera with this printer I have to put the paper in the printer with the print side facing down so this side is matte this side feels glossy I'm going to put the paper in facing down I have my stickers printed out now sometimes with this glossy paper the Cricut Explore Air 2 does not want to read it. Like it gives me all kinds of drama. I am going to show you a trick that you can use in case that happens to me. Now it might not happen because it can hear me telling you about the drama, but just in case it decides to do it anyway, I have a trick for that. All right, so I'm gonna place the sheet right at the top left corner of my green standard grip mat now with this paper as soon as it prints it's already dry be careful if you're not going to use the link that i have below the video because there is a package of paper on amazon that looks just like this that's not this okay so now i'm going to get this inserted into my cricut cutting machine and i will be using the infusible ink transfer sheet cut setting now i know this is not infusible ink i know this is vinyl sticker paper but i love that cut setting because it will cut perfectly through this paper and it will give me good die cuts all right i'm going over to the cricut cutting machine fortunately my cricut explore era 2 did not give me any drama because it knew i was ready but it did kind of go a little bit hard it went a little bit too deep right here but that's okay because i can still salvage this sticker let me tell you the reason why i love the infusible ink cut setting for this paper it's because if you want to do die cut stickers where it's going to cut all the way through the sheet and just leave you with the sticker itself that is the perfect setting if you try to use this paper and your Cricut machine gives you the error that is scanning, but it cannot read the registration lines, let me show you a tried and true hack that always works for me no matter what. It has worked even when I was on live and my machine would not cut. You get some of that scotch tape, the matte, the, the matte version, not the shiny one. And all you would have to do is put some of this tape on each of the registration lines. So I'm going to just show you what I mean by that. So if you are trying to do print then cut and your machine gives you that error or you look over at the computer and it's still scanning and you're wondering when is it going to cut? When is it going to cut? And it just seems like it's never going to cut. All you have to do is put some of this tape on your registration lines. Now, I mine already cut. I'm just doing this to show you as an example of what I would have done if it did not cut. Okay, so I'm putting the, the tape on the lines. Putting the tape on the lines. And so if I got that error and I had to click cancel, I would click cancel, I would tape these lines up and then I would send it back through and I would be able to cut my stickers with no problem at all. So if you are having a problem, you've already done a calibration, right? You've calibrated your machine and it's still not working. The next thing to do is to try with the matte scotch tape, not the glossy, the matte. All right, my stickers are already cut. And I'm just going to remove the paper from the mat. You can see that I have perfect cuts all the way around. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Toot toot. That's that self-love coming out. All right, I don't know what's going on with that one. 
All right, and then this one was giving me drama. I'm not sure what happened with this one. I'm gonna leave this one behind. One sticker left behind. All right, so now I am going to just remove them from the mat and these, you know, the sticky backing is still on there. So if I just wanted to give it to a student like, hey, Johnny, you're doing a great job today. Here's a sticker. I could just give it to them just like this. And I could say, you know, you can go put it on your notebook. But because I'm making these for me, I'm going to go ahead and peel these now. And I am going to put these on this binder here. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, I'm definitely going to speed this part up. This one says, go slow, it's not a race. I just demonstrated that for you when I was trying to peel this off. Okay, so I'm going to speed this part up. I'm going to get all of these stickers placed on this binder. Okay, I have all of my stickers stuck to my binder and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember my tips and tricks. Number one, I love the cardstock for intricate cut setting. Number two, you probably will need to do a calibration on your machine if it won't cut. Number three, if it still won't cut right after you've done the calibration, you might need to use some of that tape. I know you're gonna ask about this little hedgehog. I will make sure to leave it down below in the, um, in the description below. This is my favorite paper. This one comes in matte and glossy. And be careful about ordering this one because this one is for an inkjet printer. They also have them for desk jet printers. So, or I think it's desk jet printers, but just make sure you get the printer type that matches what you have. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!